We know that this disease exists for a decade or two prior to diagnosis. We just don't know the best way to find those people. And even if we find them, how to implement change? What can we give them or recommend to slow the progression of the disease? And so conventional standard of care is watch and wait, right? When you get enough motor symptoms, we will diagnose you with Parkinson's disease. And as you start to complain about these symptoms, we will give you more and more dopamine replacement strategies to hide the symptoms as the disease progresses. Unfortunately, that is how most of the, the world operates in terms of clinical care. Behind the scenes, there is a lot happening. The, the research community, the, the physicians and researchers that show up at the International Movement Disorder Society, they get it. I mean, we are all talking about the gut-brain connection and inflammation and all of these things that we know are bubbling beneath the surface. But that tends to not make its way into clinical practice for another 17 years. Mm -hmm.